All right. As far sure. as, as the questions that have come in, uh, and I know there's some additional questions that we'll try to get to that have been asked already in the uh, chat, but uh, the number one question that we get all the time uh, is what parameters should I use when I use Zen Arbitrage? How do I get, how am I going to find excellent books? Um, and up front, I'll tell you, there is no magic formula. Uh, and if there was a magic formula, we would probably only have a handful of users because it would get saturated because everybody would be buying the exact same books. Uh, in other words, if, if I told you my formula to look for books and you used it, me and you would be looking at the exact same books. So uh, the key is I'm going to give you some guidelines on parameters, but uh, unless uh, I get a lot of requests, I'm not going to show you my formula because uh, then you would just be buying the same books as me and <laughs> my books and your books would be saturated by us all buying the same books. It's important that there's not going to be just one formula. So uh, over the years, we've discovered there's really four types of users and I'll go through them real quick. The first one is I don't have much money. And this is usually the, the type of people that sign up. Uh, they they want to make their rent money. They want to... Uh, you know, they don't have a lot to invest or they've been burned by uh, Internet scams in the past and they're afraid to spend much money. Um, so, you know, we, we do get a lot of people that said, I just don't I don't want to spend, you know, twenty thousand dollars on books. So I don't have a lot of money. I only have, you know, one hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. Uh, and those type of people uh, are the first thing is when you set your parameters, you want your buy price to be somewhere in the $15 to $20 max. Uh, you don't want to spend, uh, you know, a lot of money on each book, but spending $15 or $20 uh, max on a book, if you had $100, you could buy five books. Uh, and with a good uh, return on investment, you could, you could flip that and make uh, quite a bit of money. Uh, you know, if you had $200, you could buy 10 books, et cetera. Um, there's a lot of good 10, 15, $20 books out there, but, uh, what you want to do is to make sure that there's not a lot of max, uh, you know, a lot of offers on it. So you want to also set your parameters on your Zen arbitrage to have max offers of somewhere in the range of 35 to 40 that reduces your competition. So if you're selling, you know, you're buying a book for $15, you're likely going to flip it for 45 and, uh, hopefully double your money. Uh, but you don't want a lot of competition out there because lots of competition just drives the the price down. Yeah. Uh, the thing, if you're if you're buying a ten dollar book or a fifteen dollar book, you should expect lower profits per book. But you know, if you can buy a ten dollar book and get ten dollars profit on it, you're basically doubling your money, and that's uh, that's not a bad thing, especially when you're first starting out and you don't have a lot of money and. Uh, you know, the key is to reinvest those profits into more books. The next uh, type of user we have is I, I just want to sell books quickly. Uh, you know, for some reason, you know, I, I, you know, I have a 200 books. They're not selling. I, you know, what books am I supposed to be looking for? I just want them, you know, as soon as I buy them, I want to have them all sold in 30 days. And we get a lot of questions on that. People just want to sell their books as quickly as possible. Uh, and so you're going to have to spend a little bit more and limit your rank to somewhere in the, uh, you know, 75 K range, maybe a hundred K at max. Uh, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of more money and buy, you know, buy books that are a little bit more expensive than the 15 to $20, but you can buy a lot of good 75 K books that are ranked really well in that 30 to $40 range. But unfortunately the bad side of this is you're going to likely see more restrictions Amazon and the publishers, they don't want the, the market saturated with their books, so they are going to put more restrictions on you. So if you want to buy quick selling books, uh, you know, you're going to see more restrictions at that 75K range. The restrictions tend to uh, drop off when you get a higher rank book, uh, book around, you know, 750K or, you know, 800. You, you have less restrictions than you do at the quick selling books at 75K. And we have um, a question from, from Terry on the chat. Is that something you could answer, Bill? Um, I can't see the chat when I'm on full screen. Um, ah, okay. So it's it's a question including S&H or not? Uh, say that again? 
All right, we'll come back to it later. Let's, okay, let's, yeah. let's go through the, yeah. first, through the presentation. We'll sure. go through this and uh, you know, then I we'll can back, we'll stop sharing yeah. and, and go back. All right, the third type of user we have is I want to double my money. And you know, in other words, uh, you know, I want a good return on my investment. And the good thing is you're going uh, you're going to have to spend quite a bit more money, uh, but there are really easy ways to double your money every single time by buying, you know, in the 40 to 75 dollar range, you'll have, and you can even go as high as 750k. Those books uh, sell uh, one to two a week, and uh, you can get quite a bit more profit if you uh, are willing to spend more money on a good book. So, uh, you know, if you're spending at that fifteen to twenty dollar range, you're going to expect lower profits per book. But if you're buying books at the fifty to seventy five dollar range, you're likely to see, uh, you know, that you're able to double your money a lot quicker. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, by uh, putting those books out there that you're looking for $50 books uh, with an average rank of, of 750K or better, uh, you're excluding a lot of books because you're you're missing out on those 15 to 20, you know, or 10 to $50 books because you're you're looking for books that are in the, you know, 50 to $75 range. And um, that excludes all those books that are cheaper than $50. But you you can easily find good ROI books. The last one that we get a lot of users on is, hey, I don't have much time. I, uh, I, you know, I just want to work an hour a day and find books. Um, you can you can find good books that are in the twenty to thirty dollar range, uh, and you can find them pretty good even at as high as seven hundred and fifty k. But you have to restrict your offers to you know thirty uh, to thirty five use uh, sellers out there. And uh, optionally, but I, I do this quite a bit, is to set an Amazon price above what you're, you know, above $50. Because if you're buying a book for $20 and you're trying to sell it for uh, $45 and Amazon is selling it for $45, you're not going to get the sell as quickly. But you want Amazon's price to be quite a bit higher than your at, you know, completely. But it's also, this also excludes a lot of books, but you're going to see uh, quick selling books that 